What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Drive. I can hear Mike getting his clothes out of the laundry right now. So, it's a little fourth wall being broken there. If you have blood and farts, you should probably see a doctor. I'm no expert, though. That's factual. I'm also not a doctor, but I think I know enough to be able to confirm that. <clears throat> right now, we're going to do a JoJo MKE stip. The, the stip is uh, Merry Christmas, stipulation, green, red draft. Try to have four to five elves for Santa's helpers. Extra spice splash for either an angel or frost titan, which makes uh, makes it very on theme. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> oh. Oh, look at that. So sometimes you want to draft the, the red green deck and you open a mox ruby. And then you get to then you get to take it and feel good about your your choices. Your stiff cho Oh, here's a frost titan as well. It's almost like it's almost like perfect. Reclamation Sage is pretty good, though. That is also a two drop. And it's an elf. Hmm. It's either Rec, Rec Sage or Frosty Frosty Boy. <clears throat> these are the these are the decisions we have. <clears throat> I don't know what to take here. This is an elf. This is a frog. I'm going to take the elf because it's more on color. And, um... Uh... Elf is definitely a requirement, whereas... Frosty is... Is a... Well, yeah, but Frosty's more rare than an elf. <clears throat> but it's also... We don't... We have to get four, or five, four to five elves. So, I'm more concerned with getting the quantity of elves, which is a priority, rather than... Uh one of the extra extra qualifications yeah I think it is prime time I really like the tropical island but primeval titan is a pretty big dude plus we might not play if we don't if you don't play frosty then we're probably not going to need the blue splash oh consecrated sphinx <clears throat> well maybe we are splashing blue after all thankfully there are no it's red green do we want lightning strike or pn kiranalar or wall of roots Hmm. Hmm. Sphinx is angel enough. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just take the Sphinx here, and we will try to get that Frost Titan back. This is going to be good. We're going to make it happen. Worst case scenario, we don't play this. <clears throat> However, this guy does bring presents, let's be real. Ooh, Stomping Ground is perfect. And this is also an elf scout. Ooh, that's good too, though. I think we definitely want stomping ground. Yeah, I want to take the stomping ground. I think the lands are going to be a little more uh, vital, considering we have three colors going on for us. God, I really can't pass a consecrated sphinx, guys. I'm so sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like a, it's like a real problem. Uh, this is an elf. It taps for black, but it is still an elf. So, elf it up. Don't you ever just apologize for taking Sea Sphinx. Okay, that's fair. As long as you guys are okay. I'm sure I'll get, I'm sure I'll get shit in the comments. I'm sure people are going to be like, you ruined the stip from the very second pick. And I'm going to be like, I'm going to be the Emma Watson gif. Plow Under is really good. We're just going to take the Plow Under here. We all know how good Plow Under is. I think it's even better in a format where you can accelerate really quickly into it. <coughs> Christmas Plow. Yeah, that's basically that's basically what it is. This is also just a really weird angel, right? Oh, it says blessed by the hands of Jenga Taxis. So maybe it's kind of like a magic lore angel. I got real excited about this for a second, and then I realized it's not really what we're looking for here. Um, I don't think Hazard's where we want to be. We could just take Mystic Snake and be straight Teamer. I don't think any of these other cards are great. None of these cards are really on theme, I would say. 
We'll take this guy because we haven't actually played Mystic Snake in a while. Maybe maybe because we're playing Consecrated Sphinx, it's good enough. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So actually, the uh, the Frost Titan did not come back, unfortunately. But e oh god, I always wish Eternal Witness was an elf, but it's a it's a human. It's still good. We can still take it. Oh, Frostine did come back. Oh, that's great. It was not first pick. I don't know why I thought it was first pick for a second. <clears throat> we do need red. Um, we're going to take Frosty. We can take Siege Gang Commander. It is a U man. Oh, Acidic Slime came back. So did Lightning Strike. Um, I feel like we want some cheap removal. I think we want this more than Acidic Slime in this deck. Oh, the Nissa came back too. Wow, this is great. What a present. What a Christmas present. What a Christmas miracle. <coughs> okay, I just got a pretty funny YouTube comment. Um, I don't know if you guys remember yesterday we were playing a match and our opponent top decked a Master of the Wild Hunt. And I was like, unless you top deck Master of the Wild Hunt. And then they played a Master of the Wild Hunt. And the comment says, complaints about people stream sniping. He can literally read minds. 3255. Did you did you top deck Master of the Wild Hunt? Of all the freaking possible cards in existence. And uh, <clears throat> that's pretty funny. See, that's funny. Grim Monolith is pretty insane. I like Sylvan Library, but I also like Grim Monolith, and I'm not sure which one to take here. Huh. Like, Grim Monolith is real. Like, we can go turn three Plow Under with the Grim Monolith. Library is strong. I don't think Library has any flavor points, though. We're going to take the Monolith because it can go... Oh, it's your, it's your big boys. All right, so... Nothing great in this pack. Got a lot of big green and red things, which is totally fine. <sighs> it's just Crater Hoof, right? It's always Crater Hoof, isn't it? I mean, it's better than Terastodon. It's better than Ulamog. The red cards aren't great here. Yeah, we'll take this guy. We also have a Grimonolith now, so we can cast on like turn five. I am going to take all of the green, white, nope, green, red, blue fixing I can find. Um, <clears throat> I kind of like Pestermite here because it's kind of like a fairy, which is kind of, uh, isn't that going to get a little Christmassy? Is it kind of like an elf? Garrick is probably better though, actually. Yeah, we'll just take the Garrick. I thought this was Garrick Relentless for a second, so I didn't really... No. <laughs> okay, well, that's my mistake. <clears throat> We could also get Avacyn and Crater Hoof if we get a Tooth and Nail. And then Avacyn is like, you know, the Tree Angel. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm going too deep. I can't tell. Garrick or, I think it's Corsair actually. I mean, Corsair gives you gifts. And it also has twinkling around the edges because it's an enchantment. So I'm going to take Corsair. There's no elves, right? How many elves do we have right now? Two? No, three? All right. Three's good. We have Nyssa, Rexage, and Elves of Deep Shadow. Don't care about Garrick. I think I'd just rather have Corsair. Corsair's like a reindeer. Wow, that's really Centaurist. Holy smokes. That's not okay. Uh, Worm Coil Engine. That's another six drop. I'm not sure we need it. Eureka. That's a thing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this guy's kind of like an elf making some presents, but I don't think he's very good for our deck. Are you planning on doing a Christmas stream dressed as Santa Claus? No. Mike could be your little helper? Probably not. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I think it's actually just Eureka here. Like, we can put a bunch of things into play. I'm going to take Eureka. I, I Like I said yesterday, I don't really hate... I don't dislike Eureka. The red cards are not on theme. Sensei's Divining Top is actually 
surprisingly on theme. Why do we have so many eyelashes? <clears throat> Top is on theme. Red is the theme. Okay, sure. I'll just take Pyroclasm then. I do like this Mold Drifter, but... So I was thinking it was a holiday. It is a Christmas stream. It's not a holiday stip. Avalanche Riders is like is coming down the mountain. <laughs> it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a Christmas song. Coming. I can't actually. I don't actually remember if that's a Christmas song or if that's just a regular weird song. Smuggler's Copter is. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Avalanche Riders is good. I'm gonna take the Avalanche Riders. Oh wow, Splinter Twin, huh? Also an elf. I'm gonna take the Devoted Druid. We'll let someone else have the Splinter Twin. Uh, Flame Strike is good. Tri Builder. All right. Not an elf, but you'll do. <clears throat> Tri Builder also fixes our mana for these uh, two double blue cards we have. People would look very weird if we only had like two eyelashes per eye. You know, that's a fair point. I'm going to take this pester right now because I'm going to make the person in front of us sad. Also, this guy's like Santa Claus, right? Look at this. Look at this crazy. I'm going to take this. Uh, Garrick seems good. All right. We're in it. We're in it to win it. Eh, okay. Where's the fixing, my dudes? Oh wow, Smuggler's Copter is great. Cause this is this is like a sleigh. This is like Santa's sleigh, right? It's just this is how you drop off the presents, my dudes. Well, no power here. Uh it's probably just birds. Actually Grill Signet's good too. No, I think we want birds. I think we want the one drop. Being able to go birds into Corsair is pretty good. Yeah, we're going to take the birds. Oh, another elf. I like it. Is Xenagos like a... No, I guess that's more... That dude's that dude's pagan half. I'm going to take this... Uh, take this elvish mystic. Alright, I'm liking what we have so far. Probably cutting Eureka and Baloth from the main deck. Vivian Reed. Steam Vents. All right, Steam Vents is the pick here. We're going to Steam Vents it up. That's like our... Oh, Misty Rainforest. All right, now we're doing it. Bribery. That's kind of like... Oh, God, Bribery is so good. I think we have to take Misty. We, like, have enough playables here. I'm going to take the Misty Rainforest. Misty is so good for us. This is an elf. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to take the elf. Because we have one, two, three... We also have, we already have five elves, but I'm gonna take the sixth elf because I like this better than Elf of Deep Shadow by a sizable margin. Huh. Huh. 
think it's just Thrag Tusk here. Actually, Tireless Tracker comes bearing gifts, right? All of these are very good. Both of these are very good. All both of these are very good. Tireless Wrapper. Chicken. <laughs> oh, God. What is, what's our other life gain in the deck? We have Obstinate Bailoff. I guess we can take Tracker here. Tracker is actually going to go in the main deck. <clears throat> this guy leaves a bunch of presents, so that's good. Oracle of Moldiah. That's a good one. Yeah, we're taking the Oracle here. That's a solid card. Magic card? Magic the Gathering card? Goblin Dark Dwellers was another option, but it's actually pretty unplayable in this deck. We have like two, literal two instants and sorceries that cost three or less. Throw on the last troll. I don't see any Christmas theme there. Flame Tongue Kavu. No. Harmonize is good. That's gifts. Fire Blast. No. So I think it's either one of these two. The elf count's actually pretty high. Uh, we have this. Uh, Rex Sage, Nissa, Devoted Druid, Mystic, and Tree Speaker. So we actually have six elves right now. We are way ahead on elves. I want to take the Harmonize. We took a Throne instead. That's cool. Magic is cool sometimes. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, well, I guess this is our... And except for the fact that I was hovering over this and pulling it into my thing. I can totally understand why you would... This guy's kind of like L. Actually, we'll just take the Avenger, I guess. Avenger brings his plant friends. Eh, Manic Vandal is probably pretty good here. Also, we do have Krampus. Krampus? Cramp, cramp, cramp them, cramp them and stamp them. I don't know, I have no idea what's going on here. It's probably just Xenagos, right? I'll just take Xenagos. Kodama's Reach. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the Kodama's Reach. Search for tomorrow. My God, we're getting all the good picks here. Kodama is French for Santa Claus. Wow, I had no idea. That's really interesting to know. These facts. These factoids. These are like Christmas fireworks, right? They're not. Don't. Don't get suckered into big Christmas fireworks. Big Christmas fire? That just sounds wrong. All right, now we got to make some cuts here. Probably cutting Avalanche Riders. Search is a one drop. Cut the Avenger, maybe? I don't even know. Wow, 12 fart bits. <laughs> like you do. All right, well, that's the thing, I guess. Sometimes you just gotta let those fart bits out. I think this can be a 16 land deck. So we have all of these cards that are two mana. Well, it's 15 lands and one mock, so 16, which means you still need two cuts. Huh. I'm we'll probably cut Rex Sage from the main, I guess. What else do we have that does that? I guess we could cut Monolith. I don't love cutting Monolith, though. Turn 2 Monolith lets us play turn 3 any of these things. It's pretty insane. I was thinking of cutting Siege Gang just because it's double red. It's hard on the red. Yeah, I like this. Alright, so... 
our color requirements are pretty interesting. We have two two blue cards. We got Frosty. We have two red cards, unfortunately. But I think the green deck doesn't really... There's not really a green-red deck. There's more like a green deck where you can splash a bunch of stuff in. Also, our mana base is pretty nice. Uh, not great, but I mean, like, we probably need one mountain to, to search out, and that's pretty much it. Um, that leaves us with four blue sources. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... Yeah, this seems correct. Like, we have to hit two of our four blue sources, but we have a lot of ways to do it. Like, we also have Bird of Paradise. We have Sakura Tribe Elder. Um, we have Kodama's Reach. We have Search for Tomorrow. So we actually have eight ways to get a blue source in the deck, which is pretty good. And we don't need it till turn six. We also have Primeval Titan, so lots of different things to get that done. All right, we're going to try this out. 15 lands and a Mox. 16 lands seems pretty fine in this deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We also have 11, 11 green sources for turn 1. Um, God, I don't love this hand, but I actually don't hate it either, so... Well, everybody's really loud in the house right now. That's interesting. Oh, that dude's dead. Unfortunately for... Oh, no! So if we actually played Forest Mox on turn one to keep this up, then this turn we could place to occur a tribe elder which means we can't do that now so we're still gonna just lightning strike this because it needs to be dead and then we can actually have like turn three um what's it called plow under which is pretty nuts it's still pretty good i guess yeah we're just gonna play this because this does get us two mana next turn as opposed to skirt tribe elder which only gets us one That, however, is a uh, unfortunate side effect. Oh, they did not play anything, which is nice. Give me a land. That's good. Yeah, so next turn's gonna be lit. If we hit it, we can actually get a blue mana here so that we have double blue. Uh, and then if we hit a third land, another land, I won't say a third, but like if we hit one more land, a fourth land, I guess, then we just get to play anything. That is a land. Uh, they actually don't have any plays, so I'm probably just going to plow under here. Because they didn't play anything for two turns, so if we just plow under them, it's basically just two time walks. Just get this guy. Oh my god, he's so loud, dude. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, we're just going to play one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just going to play Consecrated Sphinx here. And they might kill it, but that's fine. That's life. <laughs> Instantly dead. Never even had a chance. I mean, we have to assume they have a bunch of removal in their hand if, like, we... But Hero's Downfall, that's Garrick live, because your answers to Planeswalkers might be a bit more limited. This is awkward, because we only have three green. If we had four green, we can play both of these, but... It's still fine. Alright, so this is their first free card. By free card, I mean the first card that is not a a basic land. So that's a good dude. That is a problematic gentleman. Okay. 
they can get our consecrated sphinx back yep that's cool we're gonna draw three here and try to avoid that we did not we were unable to avoid that charlie wayne thanks so much for the sub welcome back really appreciate it hope you're having a great day thanks for the content as always thank you for the support one two three four five six play garrick for four leaves us with two mana left we can untap play courser Wow, this one card is pretty busted against us. pretty sure we're just doing this like we don't get the counters on it right now but if they're going to spend their turn consecrated sphinxing they're probably not going to be able to kill this as well because they'll have two mana up i don't know we'll see i guess Are they going to like, yeah, sure, so that they get their upkeep trigger? That's fine. Well then, um, yeah, it's worth blocking with one plant here. So they're going to draw two cards, which is not great for us. However... Can we do both? Can we go one, two, three, four for Garrick? Yeah, we can do that. One, two, three, four. This seems good. This is a lot of damage. <clears throat> I feel like we're in good shape here. Wow, that's Xaxes. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, that'll do, I guess. That'll do. So they do have, um, we saw at least one signet. Scarab God's kind of obnoxious. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> it's good. Throne seems great here. Let's bring in a throne. Um, Lightning Strike was surprisingly good there. I'm going to take a Monolith. Or not Monolith, Smuggler's Copter. Snake does counter God, but we have to have double blue, which is not super easy to do on that at that at that stage of the game. I mean you get to a point in vintage cube where you're not you're not you're not concerned with counting the number of damage. Like if the, some things just get out of control, you're just like, oh, this is too much. Hmm. 
When the enemy can cast Scarab God, I should have double blue. I don't think... Like, we have four blue sources in the deck. I don't think we're guaranteed to get f two of our four blue sources by, by turn five. That does not seem accurate. I don't love Flame Slash. We saw one creature that Flame Slash actually kills, the Dark Confidant. Literally one creature. We're also trying to look for a thing to take out, not to not to add, so. Hmm. Yeah, Rick Sage is just too cute. I don't think so, though. That seems good. You think a Consecrated Sphinx or Frost Titan? <sighs> Submit like this. 16 lands will go to 41 cards. I'm a, I'm a gambler. Uh, snap Keep. Sneep, if you will. Take out the Mogs? <laughs> Stop it. Fatal push. Kapow. No. No fatal push. Frank, have you watched those series of Shyamalan movies? Illusions don't GG. No. I actually have never seen Sixth Sense all the way through. Um. Because it's not. It's fine. Oh, no. You did have the fatal push. You, you made me use my mana. Oh, no. My mana has been used up. My value. All my value is lost. Rex Sage. One time. Ah, uh, that's actually pretty close to Rex Sage. I'll take it. It's a it's a sec it's a different elf, similar but different elf. See now if they play um if they play Scarab God next turn, you're gonna be like, oh well, you're definitely gonna have double blue. We have four sources of blue, and a lot of those sources like Search, uh, when you end up getting a blue, it takes two blue to do it, to blue it, like Tobias Funke. I wonder if we just actually throw in here. I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to Zenigos here. If they want to counter this, it's fine. They can't Cryptic Command it, so. Mystic Confluence would be a beating. They didn't have that. Hero's Downfall. Sure. Got a dude out of it. I don't like throwing Thrun down unless we have a way to regenerate. I saw the new movie coming out with three main characters, and I have no idea what Morgan Freeman and the Die Hard guy's power saw. Have you not seen Unbreakable? Get your life together. They have three cards in hand? Huh. Like, I'm, I'm worried about a damnation here, but I don't think that's the worst. Also, I think Thrun is very good. I mean, like, if they don't have damnation and we get to untap with Thrun, we get to play Garrick, untap two lands, and regenerate. Yep, and that's also what we were... Uh, we can't regenerate Throne from that anyway, so I'm not super concerned about it. So one thing we can do is play Garrick and then play Tracker, which is actually pretty decent. I think we're actually going to go land Eternal Witness, though. Get back Throne, maybe? Because I don't like playing Tracker unless we can get some some actual value out of it. Are we getting dazed here? No daze. Thrun is probably where we want to be. It also leaves Thrun not in the graveyard if they have like Scarab God or something, so. <laughs> yeah, pernicious dude, I thought you lived just outside of Kent. Come on, buddy. Get it together.
Snap into Deluge, into Hero's Downfall to get rid of the Garrick, sure. It is what it is. Well, I still feel like the run is probably pretty OP here. We're gonna keep up we're gonna keep up Eternal Witness. We don't have there's no real benefit to trading here. I mean it, it makes it so the run gets through a little easier, but Well, I have to assume the Scarab God is going to be chosen here. Three, four, five, and then they exiled three cards, sure. Wow, you called Samuel L. Jackson Morgan, Morgan Freeman, that's amazing. Well, that's obnoxious. See, look, we still don't have a second blue source. <laughs> so the whole thing about blue sources is pretty hilarious at this juncture. I mean, if they get Scarab God here, it's rough. However, if we draw Crater Hoof Behemoth like we're, like we're meant to, then we're in very good shape. Especially because this Druid is not a... Uh, a defender. Wow, at eight life, you're gonna play Bitter Blossom. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. That is a second blue source. Which I am quite fond of. Deluge has been exiled. Alright, so... They have one card in hand? I'm on board for this. That's fine. That was not my strongest card. <laughs> so they have no cards. They're in top deck mode. This is phenomenal. Just on top deck a Scarab God and we're good to go. Thank you. Clapcacker, Clap thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we get to choose one. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy. Keep up the run regeneration. I just want some cards. The sooner we get cards, the sooner we can hit the uh, the Crater Hoof Behemoth. It also gives us blockers for these fairies that will slowly kill them, presumably. First time ever see you on Twitch. Wow. What a time to be alive. Rex Sage is pretty good against a bit of Blossom, I hear. Do we have Hoof Daddy? If we didn't, it'd be really weird that I'm trying to hit a Hoof Daddy. God, he keeps talking about wanting to draw a Crater Hoof, and we don't even have it in the deck. That would be really awkward. Scarab God one time. One, two, three, four. Tassiker. Sure. Tassiker's awkward, because if they hit two lands, we have to give them go for the throat back, but... Uh, you can have a Baleful Strix. You'll probably, I'll never give you that Scarab God. Oh, we just win the game. All right. 
Oh, plow under would have been nice. Eh, maybe it would have been nice. They could just activate Tassiger. And then what would we have drawn if we didn't play Permian? Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, win that game. Our deck is pretty sweet. Our deck is good, and we should feel good. No, I'm not positive I want to kill Bitter Blossom, but it is nice to have the option to do so. Like if they have, if they end up gaining 16 life, then I'm 100% on board with killing it. If they stay at six, then I'll probably just leave it. It's just when they play cards like that, like if they have a sword or like a Bitter Blossom or a Jitte or something, it's nice to have the option to kill it, whether or not you need to at that particular junction, because things change in Magic. Um, we're actually gonna play this and then Tireless Tracker on two. What's happening right now? Alternate timeline with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. CTB with the resub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Give me that sweet plow. Actually, I could not. I could not give it to you because Thank you. they conceded. This is nice because we get to go tireless tracker into Misty and then cast search for tomorrow. Thank you. Seems good. Alternate timeline with the... Oh, yeah, that's the same thing. I was like, alternate timeline with the... So, oh, you already, we already went over that. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You Thank are awesome. Let's work. Let's get a steam vents, uh, because I want to be able to cast Xenagos here. And they can counter it. They did not. We can also add two mana to play like something else. We'll just create a two-two. This feels like a good start. CTB, don't even worry about it, buddy. I like it when you guys, I mean, I don't like it, but I think it's funny when you guys feel bad, like, you've subbed, if you have, like, the sub badge and the, the bit badge, and then you guys are like, man, I wish I could do, wish I could help, I'm like, no, dude, you're doing fantastic, you are supporting in numerous ways, and it's super awesome. Let's add you, because it's a freebie. Um, let's add four here. One, two, three, four. Primeval tidies. Is this game? Oh God, it resolves. Uh, get another blue, get another green. Is this real life? I feel like we're doing well here. I don't know. Hard to say. Magic's a tough game. Okay. Um, I'm actually going <sighs> to... I'll take two so we can draw a card from... <laughs> We've got five clues here. What's even happening right now? They have a, they have three lands though, so that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, seventeen permanents. <laughs> They're like, uh, I have a mountain. Yeah, watch them go pestermite, manamorphose, splinter twin, and then we're just like. All of our work for nothing. I'm going to laugh if that happens. And by laugh, I mean cry. All right. Here we go. Shaky Graves, we're number one, but every time it says one, Frank gets more money. Thank you, Shaky Graves. Thank you so much, buddy. Yep, we're just going to crack a clue here. Here we go. Here we go. Well, there's no there's no filter land, so they can't go double red with like a cascade bluffs. Oh, they untapped it. Fantastic. Thank you. 
Not like it matters, but all right. Oh god, Manamorphos and Achilles is gonna just it's gonna Oh, they could just have like Lotus or Mox too. There's tons of ways they can get double red here. Not tons, but maybe like four ways, right? Mox Mountain, Manamorphose, Lotus, uh, Lotus Petal. So I think that's four. There's probably more than that. I'm just not thinking of it. Because I don't really need to. It's either they either do it or they don't. It's like you can see all the lines. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally the, doc the Doctor Strange of magic streaming. Okay, well, they just lose. Uh, did you see the, how many... I, I went into the future and I saw all the all the possible outcomes for this game. How many of them do they kill you with Pester My Splinter Twin? Only one. Uh, Alright, so that being the case... Good lord, what are you against that? I kind of like Siege Gang just because you can put it down and then shoot their dudes. Gabriel, what's going on? Medium fan here. Always watch on YouTube. Nice catching live. Fantastic. I accept. All right. So, do you guys hear all these noises in the background? It's pretty ridiculous. I want to take out the... CG game being double red is rough. Splinter Twin as a deck is super obnoxious. I'm going to take out Copter. I'm going to bring in... Like, the problem with Rex Sage and Flame Slash and Mizzy Mortars and Pyroclasm is they're all sorceries. So, like, if they're going off, they're going off. Pestermite does kind of stop it, but it only stops it for, like, a turn. Like, if they go to, to equip Splinter Twin, we can tap it down. It doesn't stop Kiki Jiki. I kind of like this guy. I'm going to take out Avenger, and I'm going to bring in maybe Mystic Snake, actually. All right. We're going to go real deep here. We're going to have some counters. I guess he's taking Frosty Boy out for, like, a run, maybe. I don't know. Either way, this hand's great. Lightning Strike is pretty nice to have against their plan. I will keep it. Did we lose the double island? No, our 17 permanents overwhelmed them, thankfully. I'm going to kill it in response. Congratulations. God, they always do. It's so funny. They're so aggressive about it. Yeah, there are actually multiple iterations of Splinter Twin in the cube. Oh, they missed a land drop? That's pretty okay. Thank you. The Albino Redguard, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, they missed another land drop. We're doing well here. Land drop. Oh, God. The best land drop possible. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we need a second blue. We're just going to get a steam vents here. Second blue, second red. Perfect. Land on the top. Land on the top. Land on the top. Uh, da, 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 land on top. Oh, wow. We just have it all. Suspend this dude. Land on the top is, uh... I'm about to bust. That's about right.
that guy is not going to do it. Oh, that's good. We can draw Mystic Snake if we need to and still have the mana to cast it. Wowie kazowie. I'm going to do that now because there might be another land on the top. So, And it also lets us attack. <laughs> oh, boy. Good deck is good. If they use their mana next turn to equip this guy, we're just going to kill it. There's no way I'm letting you activate a Jitte. Just hold the counter right in front of it. It's right here, just in case you know, and I can draw it at any moment. I think they're dead. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We only had 13 permanents this time, so it's not as good. But I still think we're doing quite well here. We haven't lost a game with this deck so far. Judge MKE. Solid choice. Hopefully this was true to the stip. I feel like we got the elves. We got the frosty boy. We got red, blue, and green. I'd like to think we did all right. But, you know, I usually leave it to the uh, to the viewer, the creator, the supporter to uh, to determine whether we we were true to the spirit of the stipulation. But I feel like we're doing pretty okay. Snake puts me in the holiday spirit for sure. Yeah, you and me both. You and me both. Oh, I see. Well then, this is what's known as a sneeper. Don't thought seize me, bro. Oh, here we go. All right, so now we're fighting. Uh, now we got the real competitors here. So I guess we're just getting an island here. We have double red, double green. Not even really sure it's a question. This is where they discard like a gristle brand. I thought you couldn't stream yourself sneeping. Well, you know what they say. Those who sneep together stream together. Okay, are we dead? We are dead. That's crying out loud. I'm going to reanimate this. Yep, you got it. You got it, Biscuit. All right. We had a good run, guys. We had a good run. I don't... We just need to bring in all the artifact removal, the enchantment removal. We're not dead. not great I mean I don't know how they beat 2-2 two, two and 1-1 one, one, though is the problem so like we had they have a 12-13 and a 1-1 one, one, but I mean they're probably still pretty dead here just kidding one time acidic slime that we don't have Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to go to the next game. Every draft we've done so far, all four of our Vintage Cubes drafts have been two ones. So, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the curse is getting broken just yet. Rex Sage comes in. Um, yeah, Eureka, probably not the best idea. We're going to bring in this Mystic Snake because the guy did some work last game. Last round. Trigon Predator could be good, but the problem is it's never connecting if they actually have... Like, if they go reanimate Gristlebrand, or animate dead Gristlebrand, animate dead Embercle, um, you're not really ever going to connect. So... So what are we taking out here? Probably Copter. And probably Lightning Strike. Maybe not Lightning Strike. It kills some of their outlets, like it kills a Fauna Shaman, it kills things like that. We can take out Avenger... 
Yikes. Uh, this is fine. It's not great, but like it's doing all the things that we kind of want our deck to do, and we just have to hope they don't get super lucky. Don't do me like this. Two drop. Give me something to play. I accept that. Next turn we can send it goes. Meh. Well, that was our fourth land. Come on, land. What color do we get here? I'm pretty sure we just get island here. Oh, that's so stupid. All right. Wow, hitting our island here was pretty brutal. Talent Trooper can block Emrakul. That's true. It still dies most of the time, but... Land. We're very good at this game. Um, we actually don't need a second red, so we'll just get a, we'll get one of these jobbies. No land on the top, but that's okay. I feel like we're still in it right now. We ain't dead. Shardless Agent, Gristlebrand, Emrakul. Okay, well, we're probably dead now. Always yield to that. Always yield to that, because I don't need to uh, play a land. Play a land. Rex Sage. So we're just really hoping that you have... Probably better just play Mystic here. Do you just take seven here? And then you animate dead? Because you know you have Rex Sage now. Oh, you blocked the two two. Oh, you're just gonna pump it? Sure. Oh, Woodfall Primus is a dude. So we're gonna draw Nissa. One and they're gonna reanimate something. Yeah, I forgot about the threshold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Actually, we have Frost Titan. Oh my god, if you draw seven here. Wow, Frost Titan is such an amazing card in our hand right now. Four, five, six, seven. We're literally one mana shy of being able to go Nissa, get a thing, and then Frost. Unfortunately, oh, wait, did they? Oh, wait. Oh, that's pretty good. I was wondering if they actually unbarrel rights naturally or if they flashed it back. They did flash it back, which is pretty insane. I was worried they'd have another one. Wow. All right. We're still alive, ladies and gentlemen. We are still alive. Boy, they sure like making us discard a bunch of cards, don't they?
So what happened with the Twitch rival event and your opponent showing up late? I only heard a little about it. Um, basically, I waited 15 minutes. They were 15 minutes late. They played super slowly during the entire game one. Game one ended, so it started at 115 instead of one because they were researching cards for our deck for the first 15 minutes because they're not super familiar with the cards uh, instead of doing it on their own time and being prepared. Um, then our first round took about 35 minutes because they played super slow. So it ended at 150, and then we didn't have time for a game two or a game three. Uh, additionally, the way they found the line for lethal was because chat pointed out the interaction to them. So, all in all, very solid first round, a very professional player. Thanks again for the awesome content. Shove Jr., thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I think we're actually fine. Who is the streamer? He goes by AKA Wonder. Uh, he's a Hearthstone streamer, I guess. Ah, my nose is itching. Yeah, it was not great. It kind of set the tone for me for the whole event, which is really unfortunate. I mentioned it to the admins, and they were like, we're definitely going to keep an eye on him, and we're definitely going to have a stern talking to him. And I'm like, well, that's great and all, but like, if anyone's late for any match at 15 minutes, they should have a game loss. Like, that's just simple uh, bottom you so we can go first turn bird I guess maybe it's actually better to play this because they don't have a two drop we do have a three drop if we hit a top deck if we land I get a land next time it's pretty bad I think we're just dead like this deck is really strong the fact that we went 2-1 against it or 1-2 against it is pretty decent why no Bayloth? what does Bayloth do against reanimator i mean they're not i guess because they made us discard a bunch but like yeah i'm not like Well, it's not a matter of them needing a timeout to play a land. It's just a matter of, like, them doing other things. They're probably playing other games or watching a show or something. Like, it's probably just them doing... Man, hitting hitting Charlotte's, hitting Mind Twist off Charlotte's Agent is just gas. Uh, let's get a red. One, two, three. Let's code Dama's Reach here. Get an island and another green. Put the green into play, play the island, and uh, now we're doing okay, so long as they don't have, like, <sighs> I don't know. Yep, taking four here, they didn't do anything, all right. One, two, three, four, five, we can play... Devoted Druid Xenagos make three. That doesn't do anything. I play Garrick. <coughs> One, two, three, four. We can actually let's go. Let's go. Devoted Druid Xenagos. And we're just trying to dodge Gristlebrand here. I don't think it's going to last for, for, for too long. Discarding a Tribe Elder to get a Gaunti. And now you play the Gaunti. Sure. Are we just, can we just win with Oracle? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, if we play Oracle, we can make a million mana with this guy. I don't know what you got. Show me what you got. I feel like we actually need like one more turn here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five.
let's just get a another forest. Do we overpay? Oh no. All right. We overpaid. That's sad. We didn't have to put a counter on this, but what? Like, even if they get Brick Grisper, I think Chris, does Critter just win this? Mesmeric Fiend. Okay. Oh my god, are we just going to win right here? Is this it? Four, five, create a two, two. Create a beast. Three oh, ladies and gentlemen, unless they have a fog. <laughs> I think we did it. Uh, wow, three oh with the the Chris Merry Christmas deck. Thank you so much, Jojo MK. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to have your own stipulation supplied and support the stream, definitely check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. Uh, you can find links in the description below. That was insane. I did not think we were going to beat the Reanimator deck. I just figured they would have it. Um, also, feel free to check me out on Twitch or Patreon. Links are in the description below for other things if you just want to support the stream. And uh, you can also check out uh, meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Uh, that is a great deal if you guys are looking for that kind of thing anyway. It's also a great way to support the stream as well. And if you guys want to check out Aaron Kane custom deck boxes, his products are amazing. You can find the links in the description below. And um, if you're looking for like nice, really well-crafted wood deck boxes, cube boxes, commander boxes, what have you, his, his stuff is amazing gorgeous uh you get 10 percent off with promo code frank so be sure to use that and uh he uses over 40 different types of wood that you can literally choose you can customize it any way you want you can get engraving done his work is fantastic it's next level i got a cube box done it's gorgeous so be sure to check that out if you're in the market for that kind of thing because it's a great deal and uh you're getting something that he will definitely stand behind so thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons i will see you next time